Hello there. Welcome to my lovely scary basement that it took 10 minutes to make. My name is Luke Pumpkin. I was going to be an actual pumpkin this October when I gave myself a Halloween nickname for the Trios of Horror Collab. But now, I'm here wearing robotic suits that was exclusive to Splatoon Japanese players. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience of interrupting your collab. But guess what? I don't care! I own this transmission! So story time, bitch! Now this is a story that's really scary. I call it... Patton and Skinner Burgers. One bright sunny afternoon, a principal named Seymour Skinner had an oh, argument no, over I the steamed hams yeah. with Gary Chalmers after he was caught I'm... buying Krusty Burgers and calling it his own food. Seymour, you're fired! Seymour lost his temper and killed his son. Then he went to school hiding a dead corpse from the public, grounded his body up into hamburger meat, and buried his bones under a small merry-go-round at the school's playground. But what to make sure that the murder keeps a secret, he told all the students in the auditorium that Chalmers has left his role for superintendent and has moved away. Skinner makes his new Chalmers meat with pork, seasoning it with salt and pepper, and some sage and thyme and a bit of garlic. To make sure that the hamburgers are actually steamed, he found a cookbook to teach him how to steam the hams, and he actually steamed it at his house. He called it Seymour's Patton and Skinner Burgers where he served it to the kids at lunch and to the teachers. There was such a huge demand for this new hamburger meat inside and outside the school that the school was able to earn enough money to buy the best cows they could find and have groundskeeper Willie raise them. Skinner also kept a sharp lookout for misbehaving kids who could make perfect hamburger meat. One day, Jimbo the Bully was sent to detention in the cafeteria after school. Skinner grabbed him to ground him up because he was covered in that weird sauce that the school had. Time passed and another student named Udo got sent to detention. He was a bit fat and into the grinder he went. And then one by one, the students of the elementary began to disappear. As so as the teachers and the janitors. But nobody has ever dreamed that Skinner the principal has anything with the students' appearance. Things went on that way for years, but then, Skinner made a big mistake. A boy named Bart Simpson got sent to detention. Skinner grabbed Bart and dragged him to the hamburger grinder, but the boy broke loose and ran out of school while Skinner chased after him waving a big butcher knife. When people saw this, they soon realized what had become of all the missing students, the teachers, the janitors, and the bullies. An angry crowd gathered at the school. Nobody knows for sure just what happened to Skinner that day. Some say he was fed to the cows. Others say he was fed to the school's hamburger grinder. But he was never seen again. And neither was his delightfully devilish steamed hams. <laughs>